Right then, done Longwood. Just spoke to a couple of people. I keep seeing, met, met lots of people who don't know where they are today. Um, and some who do know the area as well. That's all, all over there. That's Velvet Bottom going all over that way. There's some um, black rock in the wood. And I just seen a massive herd of cows going through up there a minute ago. So they've been releasing the field the other side, I reckon. And it won't be long before cows will be in this field. I mean, they could be released now. They could have been released as well. They weren't there this morning. When I was on the other side of Cheddar Gorge, they weren't there. I could still see the goats and the horse, but no, no cows. It's not to say they're not out, because they could have been all sat down somewhere. But then they could have been let out, but they could have been released this afternoon when I've been in Longwood. I just have to redirect myself if I see them. Just have to redirect myself, that's all. Yeah, it's a lovely walk with this. I'm so lucky to be able to come out here and enjoy this beautiful scenery. And, um... It's just so beautiful. I'm so lucky. And it's not far from home, to be quite honest, it's not far. You've got to allow an hour, okay, it's an hour on the bus because you, traffic, mainly. And you have to go through quite a few villages, as the bus has to stop, but it's only, it's less than an hour. It's less than an hour. The um, pathway the other side of Cheddar Gorge is over there. For example, say now, I was to see the cows in the field in, in front. I would keep bearing down there to get on the track over there. There's a track over there, let us zoom in. There's someone on it as well. That's the track going up the other side of Cheddar Gorge there. See the steps? And there's, there's a hiker. Like I said, if I see the cows are out, I would bear to my left till I found a way. Um, till I found a way in in there, because as you know, when the cows are first set out, they're very frisky. Now they, because I can't see them, it don't mean they're not further over the hill. They've got quite a large area, but I didn't written them out because I had a real good look this morning when I was over the other side of the gorge over there. And in front of me is Piney's Lakes Farm. I talk about quite a bit. I often pass through there on different routes on the Mendips. Um, Brent Knoll in the distance, the other side. I was on the other side of the gorge earlier today. And I was only here, it only seems like last week I was here, but it wasn't. It was about ten days ago. It wasn't two weeks. It was about ten days ago I was here. It only feels like the other day. I mean, really, I'm not going... I doubt if I'm going to go back into Longwood. I mean, you, I, I can never really say I wouldn't. Um, to, in, it, just to go and see the garlic now because I there was a lot of it I did capture quite a bit of the garlic with the bluebells but there's a possibility I might I mean who knows I might but so I'm not going to make a special effort I've got other walks planned and not only that other things I'm doing with Alberta other areas of discovery More and more people walking up the track now. The 
killer that track. They got another lot to do yet. I wonder what happened to that couple I put the whips around. I met a couple this morning, never done it in their life. I told them to stop and have tea and cake and sandwiches in cheddar and then get a bottle of water and walk back that way. But they might have walked up the um up the gorge. They would have been done, that would have been done. That would have been done. If I zoom into Cheddar Gorge, I stood on both those precipices there this morning. Those bits that jut out. I stood on that one and I stood on that one several hours ago now. I mean, it's worth coming over every week, really, because the change in the green and the trees is absolutely amazing. <sighs> the metamorphosis that's taking place. <sighs> yeah, I'm not rushing. I'm, I'm getting on the five o'clock bus. I'll pop in Tesco's to buy something to eat for dinner. I think Chelsea are playing tonight um, and they really need to win although they're seven points ahead they could do with knocking it right on the head tonight and uh, beating whoever they're playing I don't know if it's Middlesbrough I can't remember who they're playing but they're playing a team much further down in the league um, they're hanging on I think um, but anyway so I've got, you, well I can't watch it on telly, I'll have to have the radio on. Oh, do you know, it's, that wind's a bit nippy when you're fully exposed, but when you're out of it, it's so warm. It's very warm today. This is a nice walk though. It's beautiful actually. Peaceful. I feel better than when I started out. The smog, you do get like a smog, you know, in the valley down there and, and the, from Weston. You can see it when you're up here, you can see it. It's from the motorway and all the pollution. And I have to breathe that in. And sometimes I really feel like I'm suffocating. There we go, there's the bluebells. More bluebells. Right, then over and out now, everyone. Yeah, there's my back there, there was a building. I can't remember if I pointed that out before. Old Shepherd's Hut or something like that, I spat. Right, over and out.